Hi, I'm Mark from Public Plan. We are a digital service provider in beautiful Dusseldorf, Germany. We specialize in governmental content management solutions with our Drupal 8 distribution DEGov. In addition, we provide GDPR compliant chat platforms with our products GovChat and GovBot. Today I'm going to show you the installation process for the DEGov Drupal distribution. Here's what we're going to talk about. First, I'll give you a quick overview of what what exactly DEGov is and what its intended uses are. Then we'll get you the tools you need to set up a DEGov installation on your computer to test things out for yourself. And finally, I'll guide you through the actual installation process. So, let's get started. DEGov is a distribution for the content management system Drupal. Drupal is one of the most widely used content management systems or CMS in the world. Its powerful core capabilities can easily be extended with themes and modules contributed by a large community of developers and designers all across the globe. A Drupal distribution is basically a bundle of the Drupal core and a set of modules and themes selected to instantly set up a website configured for a specific use case. The EGA, for example, is a distribution tailor-made for the needs of governmental institutions. With its built-in content and media types and the extensibility of Drupal 8, the EGOV makes it easy to build anything ranging from, a, from an institutional website all the way up to e-government portals offering complex online services to the public. To set up the EGOV, we need to meet Drupal 8's installation requirements. For that we need a web server such as Apache, an SQL compliant database such as MySQL or PostgreSQL, and PHP in version 7.1 or higher. If you want to experiment with the eGov on your local computer, you can use XAMPP or MAMP if you're on a Mac. These applications are an easy way to get a server environment up and running without having to do a lot of manual setup. You'll find links to these apps as well as a guide how to set up a test environment on Ubuntu Linux in the description of this video below. Once we have our server installed, we need to download the eGov itself. In Drupal 8, this is done using the Package Manager Composer. Again, you'll find a download link in the notes below. Open up a terminal and change to the directory where you want your DEGov installation to live. Type composer create-project degov slash degov-project, then the name of the target directory and hit return. Now composer will download all the files we need to install degov. This may take a while, so grab a cup of coffee while you wait, or use the magic of video editing to speed up the process. And we're done. Before we can begin with the installation proper, we need two more things, a web space and a database. You need to point your web server to the directory you just downloaded the degov files to. More specifically, you need to point it to the docroot folder within that directory. The last thing we need is a database. If your MAMP or XAMPP is already running, the MySQL server should be up as well. Now you can use a tool such as MySQL Workbench to create a database. You guessed it, a link to MySQL Workbench is in the notes. Now you can fire up your favorite browser and open your local web server. The degov installer will guide you through the setup process. First you pick the language for your installation and don't worry, you can add more later. Then the installer checks if your server meets all requirements to install Drupal 8. Then you enter the name of the database you just created as well as the user password combination needed to access the database. Then a lot of installing takes place, so it's time for another cup of coffee and more editing. In the next step you need to enter a bit of information about your new website. Its name, the main email address where stuff like update notifications should be sent to, plus you define login credentials for the main admin user. After you submit this form, we're back to the progress bars, but let's not overdo it with the coffee. After a little while, the installation is done. You're automatically logged in as the admin user you just created, and it's time for you to explore your new DEGov installation. 
We'll do a more in-depth look at the eGov and its features in the near future, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, see you soon.